Okay. In this video, we are going to talk about the differences between the Flexa Digitorum Superficialis, this, and the Flexa Digitorum Profundus. So, first, let's talk about their origin and insertions. The Flexa Digitorum uh, Superficialis origin originates from the common flexor origin on the medial uh, ep uh, epicondyle of the humerus, and uh, also there are also uh, origins from ulna uh, and radius, smaller origins. And uh, whereas for the flexor digitorum profundus, maximal part arises from the anterior and posterior three fourths of uh, ulna and also from the inter interosseous membrane. And uh, coming to the origin, this uh, this is, uh, coming to the insertion, the flexor digitorum superficialis in inserts uh, divides into two slips over here and uh, inserts onto the middle uh, middle phalange. Whereas the flexor digitorum profundus, it uh, comes straight and uh, inserts into the distal phalanx and it does not divide into any slip, whereas the superficialis divides into two slips to insert. Now coming to the nerve supply, the flexor digitorum superficialis is supplied by the median nerve, whereas uh, this uh, flexor digitorum profundus is a hybrid muscle, since this uh, lateral head is supplied by the anterior interosseous nerve, which is a uh, branch of median nerve. Whereas the medial part is supplied by the ulnar nerve. Therefore, this is a hybrid muscle. Coming to the actions, the flexor digitorum superficialis is a flexion at the middle, uh, proximal interphalangeal joint. Whereas the flexor digitorum profundus is the flexion at the distal interphalangeal joint.